Let me tell you what. If I have another one of these window opening bars that is used for opening these, opening and closing on these windows, if I have another one of these things to pop off and, and come undone, I, 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 I've about done it. I'm just about ready to glue my windows shut. So uh, nothing seems to seem to fix it. I really don't want to glue them. Um, but I couldn't figure out what to do, and then I thought of it. It's a product I've used before for what it's actually supposed to be used for, but I think it'll work perfect for this. Take a look at this, see what you think, and uh, I think I have a solution for it. So hang in there. Hey guys, this is Tony with uh, RV Barnuminium. Uh, working on the RV today, getting a lot of the stuff that... Uh, We've been wanting to do to her, and uh, winter's over, spring's here, and we've just got the motivation. So one of the big issues we've had with this RV that has really been a, uh, a nuisance is the windows that open and close. Uh, well, all of them. We've got like four of them that's done the same thing, where this, this bar that slides onto the end of it, that has a rubber seal, what's I have here that fits in there and that rubber seals on there and this is what you hold on to to slide the door open and close but the problem is this boop it pulls off because it's just a friction fit of this rubber gasket a friction fit of that rubber gasket squeezing on that window and um, well they just pop off so uh, what do you do even trying to get them back on is a real pain it does not want to go back on all the way. I can get them on partially, but not all the way. And we even had the manufacturer, when we had it in the shop, having some work done to it, uh, we had them put it on. They actually put it on wrong because then the window wouldn't come un unlocked. <laughs> so I couldn't open the window. <laughs> and inevitably, it popped back off again anyway. So it didn't fix it. But I think I have a trick and a fix for this. Uh, and it's not by gluing it on. I thought about that. Uh, but I really don't want to ruin it by putting on a glue that inevitably I probably wouldn't be able to get the goo off or uh, something that's just, uh, you know, un, un, uh, un, uh, you can't reverse it. So uh, irreversible. I don't want something that's going to ruin it forever. But uh, this is what I came up with because I've used this product for what it's actually supposed to be used for. But I think it'll work perfect on this. So hang around and uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the solution I came up with. I've already used it on one window, and that sucker is held. And it's the driver's window, which is the one that I open and close the most. So what I thought about was is the, the problem with reinstalling this back on is when you put the rubber gasket on the window, is trying to get that to go into this. It's a tight fit. And that rubber, it's rubber, and it doesn't want to slip in. If it's slipped in, well, guess what? It's going to slip back out. So how do you get something sticky in it that will remain sticky after it's in there? So this is what I got. I'm a golfer. Used to be. And in golfing, if you've ever had a set of clubs that you replace the handles, the, uh, the rubber grips with, this is the product you use. This is rubber handle grip tape. It's actually called a complete grip kit. Uh, it's from uh, Wedge Guys, Wedge, at wedge, guy, wedge Guys at gmail.com. Think about this on Amazon. We'll put a link below to it if it's still got it. I've had these a while. But what this tape is, this tape, uh, this is actually two, piece, two pieces of it uh, on here. Well, it's got several of them in here. I don't know. And you'll get a whole pack it actually it's not it's one this one but it's um uh, it's actually cut in two pieces in the center there but anyway this is about how big they are they're about oh nine inches long i think you can get them in different lengths and things like that that pack came with 15 of them i got a whole pack of them here way more than i'll ever need and i'm not gripping any more clubs anymore so anyway but the glory of this tape is that you you it's two-sided tape so it's sticky on both sides now how does that help you? Well, this is where the sweet part is. When you peel off one side, you'll be able to stick it onto the window on, and it'll wrap around the window, inside and outside of the window. It'll grab, it'll grab both sides of the window. Then when you peel the sticky part off the outside, ooh, 
it's sticky. How can you get that sticky? How are you going to get that rubber to slide onto that? Well, how do you get grips onto a golf club when it's got sticky tape? This product comes with a bottle. This is a solvent. It's called Grip, grip Solvent. And what you do is when you put this onto the tape and you soak it down, the tape becomes slick. And I mean slick. It's slimy. And then normally on a golf club, then you would slide the rubber golf handle down, position it the way you want. It's still slimy for a while. This solvent will then dissipate. It'll dissipate out. It's kind of like alcohol. This is, it does not have an alcohol smell. It smells like citrus. This, this product does here. The alcohol, the solvent will, will dissipate and the sticky tape will go back to sticky. So this gives you a slick uh, surface to slide that rubber gasket in all the way in and get it tight and get it, get it in there good. And then you just kind of hold it there. It takes about a minute. And then after one minute, the solvent dissipates. It turns sticky again. You let her loose. And then the, uh, uh, your rubber gasket will go in. It's not a glue. Uh, it's, you know, granted, it's sticky tape. It is, it is a glue type of product. <laughs> it's not permanent. It will come back off. Uh, which, uh, if, uh, you can either use the, sol the solvent again to get it off. Um, or in the case of golf clubs, you just cut the rubber of the golf clubs off. But uh, I've had this on one window before, and it has worked like a dream. I'm going to do a second window over here. I'm going to bring you all along for the ride, and you can see how it's done. Very easy. Can get a little messy, drippy, but if you just put your little towels down at the bottom, it's fine. And that's just when you put the solvent on it. And uh, and uh, other than that, man, that is it. Let's get to it. Let me show you how it's done. I hope this will help you. So uh, let's get at it. All right, this is how we're going to do it. First things first is I'm going to take the tape, and i got to get the tape on the inside and the outside. And that's where we'll start. Okay, it's two sided. I'm gonna peel off one side. Now this this frame doesn't go all the way to the top and not all the way to the bottom. So I can stop at least a half inch from the top and at least a half inch from the bottom. It does not have to go all the way up. This tape is gooey, so you don't have to go that far. Plus, you don't want to see the tape. So, that's about where I'm going to want it. Now, I really can't reach in between the two panes of, of glass. So, I've got like, you know, popsicle sticks. I, these are craft sticks that I have. I have these uh, plastic ones that also have foam on the ends. This is great for putting the, the solvent on. Uh, or whatever you can find. Piece of wood. Uh, <laughs> no, a plastic, plastic knife. But you just stick that in between the two windows. And use that to push that push that on remember you're going to be sliding that piece of rubber on there when you slide that bad boy in there let me tell you what it's going to push it on there tight she's going to squeeze that window so worried about getting it really stuck on there good right now is not an issue the sticking will come later but i can the wooden dowel tongue depressor popsicle stick stop and get your popsicle Eat the popsicle, save the stick. You can get these at Walmart, big box stores. A lot of craft stores love them. These are squares, really handy dandy, plus regular ones. Man, if you do anything, this is the good popsicle sticks and, and these mixing epoxies, mixing paints, little, little, th oh man, these are, these are the bomb. These are the bomb. If you need, you got spare space, put these in it come in great great and handy all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and put the second one on first one's on the outside you measure 
Oh yeah, see that's not even going to reach all the way to the bottom, so. Now I can see it actually pushed the air out and I can see it where it's pushing the air out and uh, sticking to the window. So that makes it easy. Let me know I got, got most of it on there. Most of it good. That ain't gonna do no good. Not good at all. Look like my my craft popsicle stick is going to win the win the day. I'm going to go ahead and do a second last one to put it down to the bottom. I'll just cut it off. I have 15 of these sheets, so I only got five windows, so at least five that's broken. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to cut her out. I'm just cutting the two. It's all, they're already cut in half. They're, they're, just, they're already separated. So. All right. I, Got a second piece to fill in the bottom. I'm gonna use my scissors so that the lines are straight. There we go. Easy. Peel the one side off and I'm gonna stay it on. my trusty popsicle stick. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and fold it over to the other side. And stick it on. Then fold it over. Take it on. So actually the protective side is actually already coming off of it because it's so stiff, but the tape, the sticky, is staying on the window. There we go. Just peeling off the second side. Okay, so what I have to do now is I have to put that rubber seal back into this trough, which that's easy enough to do because, you know, it's a lot smaller than, than the size of the trough. And then in this trough, uh, I'll use my sponge, my little sponge applicator, and or just the tip of this and put 
a good amount of the solvent in that trough and get it good and good and moist on this. Now I keep this towel down here for any of that solvent that comes that comes out. All right, so got it down trough. I'm going to have to put it on the window now, and uh, I'll use the foam brush for that. Okay, so you can't really play around here on this one because, like I said before, this solvent will dry up. I'm going to put some of the towel down here at the bottom, my shop towel, and I'm going to try to get as much as I can on this tape as quickly as I can. Take your tape it's coming off a little bit right there. I could already feel it slimy. You could probably use a cotton ball for this. Uh, sponge, you can get little craft sponges. Okay, I've got that. This one's being a little temperamental, so let's do this. Put it on the window first. That is so gooey, it just slides right on there. And I'm gonna use that solvent because it dissipates so quick. I'll put it inside my trough and on my gasket here. together I got a little block of wood I use here to put up against my window there
I'm using the soft blow hammer. One, because it's soft hitting the window. You don't want to use a hard hammer because then it might uh, shatter your window. A little block of wood probably worked, ended up working the best to put onto that, on, onto the edge and then tap it in. Let that dry up, let that uh, solvent dissipate out, and then once it's dissipated out, uh, pull it back and forth, see what she looks like. So, uh, see how she turns out. <laughs> All right, time for an after review. So, I ended up having to do one, two, three, four four or five of these windows and and uh they look fine uh this one has lasted the longest by far um we only had one that came off but i don't think i had it on very good anyway so uh because it popped right off and real easy i don't think i had it knocked on good so uh, the rest of them though have been working fine and uh this is the most pertinent one when this is the driver's window tip number two Right here, these windows rattle when we go down the highway. This would, it would make noise and rattle. So I just put uh, pieces of electrical tape in a couple spots. And I think I doubled them up so that it fits tighter when it shuts and that stopped the rattle. Uh, I just need to take an X-Acto knife and pretty them up, but uh, other than that. So, but anyhow, it looks like the two-sided tape is working. And uh, if they all fall off this summer, then I'll, I'll do a, another review and uh, <laughs> tell you not to do that so <laughs> but as for now looks like it's going to work so that's just a little tip and trick for you be sure and like and subscribe below and uh, hit the bell notification and all that other youtube tubey stuff and uh we'll see you on the next one a stink bug Vermit. it works infestation This one right here. Trying to do a video. Stink bugs. Ah.